So some of you may have seen this viral post on Twitter under the title Bill Gates Files. This is the video that will finally put Bill Gates in prison. And I mean, that just sounds fantastic, right? But I'm here to tell you not to mindlessly reshare this post like so many thousands and thousands of people have done. So this is the first red flag, guys. There was one report that said it was multiple affairs. Do you care to say anything about that? You know, I think those are questions Bill needs to answer. Okay. Divorce is often when the darkest secrets come to light. Melinda Gates was obviously holding back in that first clip, but here you can listen for yourself how she really feels. I did not like uh, that he'd had meetings with Jeffrey Epstein. I made that clear to him. I also met Jeffrey Epstein because I wanted to see who this man was. And um, I regretted it from the second I stepped in the door. He was abhorrent. He was evil personified now for whatever strange reason he's trying to portray these two clips clearly as being from different occasions or different interviews but the reality is guys this came from the exact same interview within seconds of one another one report that said it was multiple affairs do you care to say anything about that you know i think those are questions bill needs to answer okay i also met jeffrey epstein did exactly you? one time did you yes because i wanted to see who this man was and um I regretted it from the second I stepped in the door. He was abhorrent. He was evil personified. So that's a red flag, right? Why are you portraying something with propaganda? This guy then proceeds to say that a source who claims to have worked for them told me that Melinda and Bill had multiple very intense fights about Jeffrey Epstein. While I have no way to confirm that, I'm inclined While I have no way to confirm that, I'm inclined to believe it. Now I don't know if this dude is just young or maybe he's brand new to investigative journalism. But if you're gonna make the extraordinary claim that your video is going to land Bill Gates in jail, you need to come with something a hell of a lot stronger than this speculative bullshit. But the rabbit hole gets deeper. Let's circle back to Bill and Melinda's divorce papers. The name Paul Weiss appears here at the bottom. If that name sounds familiar to you, that's because it is. Paul Weiss represented Sam Bankman Freed briefly before Sam Bankman Freed hired Mark Cohen. Mark Cohen, by the way, is the same person who represented Ghislaine Maxwell, Jeffrey Epstein's number one accomplice. The web is connected in more ways than you can even imagine. So let's slow this part down and critically assess it, because to the untrained mind, something profound, some kind of special connection has just taken place. Paul Weiss represented... So first and foremost, this dude right here is Professor Paul Weiss of the University of California, guys. He is a nanoscientist and has absolutely nothing to do with any of this. So that's wrong. <clears throat> Second, the Paul Weiss featured on the Gates divorce papers is a damn law firm, guys. It's not a person. And this law firm's involvement with the Gates divorce is not some shadowy secret that's waiting to be exposed. It was all over the mainstream media. And then third, what is the significance of mentioning Sam Bankman Freed or Mark Cohen? None of this is evidence for anything. And Paul Weiss is the only signature, by the way, that's missing. Why would you be hired if you're not even going to bother to show up to sign it? It appears that Paul's job was to try to prevent information about Jeffrey Epstein and Bill Gates from coming out, and therefore his presence was not necessary at signing. Again, guys, the Paul Weiss mentioned on the divorce papers is a law firm. It is not a person. This dude has no idea what he is talking about. It gets worse though. Take a look at this. On August 9th, 2019, Bill Gates posted this picture. Take a look at the expression on his face. Also, notice what book he is reading. It is a book called In Search of Memory. Erase the man, erase the memory. Guess what happened less than 24 hours after Bill Gates posted that picture? Breaking news this hour, officials say multimillionaire Jeffrey Epstein has taken his own life. Now, there are two massive problems with this, guys. The first is that him reading this book, which is a very popular book written by a Nobel Prize winner, it doesn't prove anything. And the second thing is the quote that he mentions twice in relation to this book. Erase the man, erase the memory. Does not appear anywhere when I search the publication in archive.org. And only a few days after that, Bill posted this rare selfie of him and his wife alone together in a picture. He has the biggest smile on his face, and the caption is a little daunting. It says, Happy birthday to my favorite person at Melinda French Gates. You've had an amazing year. I can't wait to see how you top it. Whoa, that's a very daunting caption. 
What exactly, though, did he get her for her birthday? Perhaps they were relieved that the one man who could take them down was gone. Perhaps it was no coincidence that all of the cameras randomly stopped working and the Justice Department seems to have swept everything under the rug involving Jeffrey Epstein and his mysterious death. I don't need to say anything out loud. You can connect the dots yourself. And that's the investigation, guys. The video that will finally put Bill Gates in jail. And it has been mindlessly retweeted and reshared and gone viral throughout the internet. This kind of thing, all it does is it provides the system and their fact checkers with the ammo they need to undermine serious investigations into Bill Gates. We are in a digital information war and the most formidable weapon is verifiable truth. Take the responsibility to learn how to use it. I'm trying to free your mind, Neo.